Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a spin the wheel in Blender. The spin the wheel things are absolutely great. It gives a player a reason to come back to your game every single day as well as another way for the developer to monetize their game. As you can see this makes me wait 24 hours before I can have another spin but you could make a developer product that says hey spend this much robux and go ahead and get an instant spin or maybe buy 50 spins. All in all the spin the wheel things super great for monetization and for the players so we are going to start out with a cylinder and then we're going to click our little drop down over here and as you can see we have 32 sides when you pick this number you want to think of the amount of spin options or the amount of rewards that you want on your spin the wheel and then double it so if we want six options we're going to want 12 sides we could even triple it too. It just depends how big and how smooth you want each option to be. So let's try three sides and say we want six options. So we're going to need 18 sides. Now that we have our 18 sides, we're going to scale this down on the Z axis. So it's a bit smaller. So just S and Z while we have everything selected somewhere around there looks good. And then we're going to hold alt and scroll our mouse over with the middle mouse wheel so we have this side view and then we just press r and type 90. now we have what looks like a good start to a spin the wheel we need to go up here to our face select mode click on the front face press i to inset and now you see how we're going to get these faces we wanted that six sides and we're going to use three for each reward so one two three one two three etc as you can see we have six different options here now before anything else let's go ahead and add some shape to this so we're going to click on this face and then i'm going to hold alt and click on this line to select all of these if we press alt e and extrude along face normals we're starting to get something pretty nice this front one right here we'll click on it then Control b that is going to bevel that face and if you use your scroll wheel you can make it more or less beveled we're gonna go somewhere about right here now we're gonna hold alt and click here again so we can do the same thing again e to extrude this does not need to be that far maybe like this and then we're gonna do Control r to make this loop cut now if we click on our little arrows we could drag that forward a bit and as you can see, we have a pretty nice wheel spin. We're going to right click, do shade smooth, auto smooth, just to make that look a little bit better. And we're going to crank this up as well. Something like that. For the stand of this wheel, you could do pretty much anything you want. We're also going to have alt clicking these lines and bevel them. So it looks a little bit smoother all around. Yeah, something like that's nice. And for the stand, let's do shift a cube S to scale. We're going to move it back behind this. I'm going to grab the bottom face and move it down until I can see it. And then I'm going to press S and Y. This is only going to scale on the Y axis. As you can see, I think I'll move it down a little bit more. And then I'm going to do control R to loop cut and drag this down before I confirm it. Then we can alt click these again, alt E and extrude along face normals. And we're starting to get somewhere. Now we want all of this to be the same style. So we are going to grab all of our edges once again and bevel them. Let's do the top and the sides control b there we go and we will shade smooth auto smooth this as well and everything looks pretty nice now you can have the spin the wheel just like this uh, i'm actually going to scale mine down a little bit and then i'm going to grab this line move it forward heck i'll add another loop cut move it back you could really do whatever you want maybe you want to go to the base and add another loop cut and then bevel that loop cut and then alt e and extrude along normals so we have another thing just adding more detail we'll add another loop cut and scale it out as you can see i mean the possibilities are endless i'm gonna add a loop cut here too Control b to bevel and i only want these faces we'll go here 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 and here alt e extrude along face normals the same thing guys add another loop cut only grab the ones you actually want to affect now all we're gonna do is scale those up and as you can see we've added so much more shape to this spin the wheel now we could texture this in blender 
or we could separate all the parts and color it in studio. I'll go ahead and texture it in Blender just so we can have it as only two pieces instead of like 10. So go to UV editing, open, find some sort of a color palette or any color that you have on your computer. Now we're just going to click on the part, go to our little textures tab, new yellow dot image texture drop down menu and palette if we hold down z and go down with our mouse you can see material preview and that's how it looks right now we're going to apply this same one to our wheel and now everything is here i'm going to select both with shift and click go into edit mode and then just press u and project from view this makes it look the same on both sides and i think it's a lot easier to work with we're going to start with this i pressed l to select linked s to scale it down and then s and x to scale it along one axis the x-axis let's make this red i guess and then let's grab the parts that we want to be a different color so i think these and these I am going to have to shift deselect some of these because it selected more than I wanted it to. Now we'll just grab these top ones as well. And now that we have everything that we want grabbed, we could just move this to whatever the other color we want. So we're going to press G and I want to go towards a goldish yellow. It seems too yellow. I do have quite a limited palette here. I guess that'll work for now. Now we just have to do the wheel, the same thing, select what you want to color, scale it down. I want to make that kind of match down here so i'm going to select everything there we go we've got a color on that i guess this little one in the middle is gonna want that color as well and now all we have to do is color our areas and remember since we made this 18 it's three sections per color i'm gonna select all of this a s and zero and now i could just select three don't select three don't select three select three and we have this pattern i'll move these to a nice blue and i will move these to a nice red now we've got to spin the wheel but since we used blue and red i don't want to use red on the base so i will grab this and find a color i like that's not too bad and then if we made this like black too dark i guess something like this works now we're going to select both things file export fbx make sure you have selected objects selected and export once you get over to studio click on view asset manager click the little bulk import icon and then find your model and apply all this little window will pop up telling you when your import's done then just grab both by shift clicking right click and insert with location now we have our spin the wheel let's scale this down something like that works and just like that, you have a spin the wheel in studio. Now, if you want to display your prizes on this board, we could just grab some parts, make them pretty square, and we could put a decal on these parts. So plus decal, that'll work. And we will take this part and make its transparency gone. And of course we would make each of these have their own image, but we're not too worried about that today. We would also perfectly space them. Now I'll group all of that together. And if we open up our plugins and go to scene tools, we can just click on spin if i play the game we have our wheel spinning the wrong way so all we have to do is go down to these properties and switch the axis and just like that we have a spin the wheel there's a bunch of open sourced systems on roblox to where now a player can go up to this press e to interact with it and a spin the wheel ui will pop up but this is a great way to make it not just a button on the side of your screen. And of course, you could get as crazy with the colors and the model as you want. The key note of this would be think of how many prizes you want and how big you want those sections to be. If it's six prizes, have 12 sides. If it's eight prizes, have 16, at least doubling it, I would say. But tripling it, it looks better in my opinion. Guys, that is going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.